Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of today for the 5th of August 2016. Now, the cards this morning, I didn't, I normally have a bit of a clue about what's going on this week, to be honest, I haven't got a clue what, what, is, what is going on at all, so there was no, um, I usually have an idea about what certain cards are going to come out, but today I was completely blind to it, and I was very surprised by the one that came out, but it is a fabulous card, and it's actually one of my favourites as well. So, today we have the Ace of Cups. Now, again, I'm using the stretch tarot. You know, this is what I've used all this week. Um, and the key word, what he has on there, I don't know if you can see that, is fulfillment. Okay, so that, that, that's what he's narrowed it down to. But the Ace of Cups, um, I mean, it, it always makes me smile, you know. It, it talks about, all Aces talk about new beginnings in, in some form, you know. Um, but the Ace of Cups is to do with love and the emotional sense as well. In traditional tarot, sorry, my eyes still water in there. In traditional tarot, it's a cup that's actually overflowing, you know, so it's like overflowing with emotions. It's, it's you know, there's more love there than, than what you could even ever have thought of, you know, that's what in traditional tarot, but in this one, he has this. Now, like I say, you know, this signal, this card is the start of love, compassion, happiness, contentment, you know. If we have a look at this as well, the way it's actually um, presented there, it's like it's, it's, it's like it's a prize, it's like it's a trophy in some way as well. And with this card, one of the key things that comes in with it is that I recognise the opportunity and I um, express and accept love. So it's sort of like, it's a two-way street, this, you know, it's, it's, it's not just being, I mean, there's, there's quite a lot of unrequited love goes around and, and that hurts and stuff like that. This isn't, this is balanced, you know, and when I say that it's like a trophy, it's like a prize, it's something that the universe is giving you, you know, for all of your hard work as well. If we have a look, this have has wings on. Now, Yesterday, we had the lovers where there's this decision to be made, and the lovers was about love, but this takes away, the lovers had a messiness around it. With this, there's no messiness around it. Like I say, I did say yesterday that real love actually gives you wings, you know, to rise, and this is what you are being presented with today as well. Like I say, a lot of communication, there's blues coming in. I don't know if you can see, but there's reds and there's oranges, so that's like your root chakra, your security, your safeness, your um, sacral chakra, which I did mention the other day, I thought there was a block on, which is your emotions and your intimacy and your sex center, and then your blue, your throat chakra, so it's like, you know, feeling free to express your emotions. This is what I like about this card, and this is what I like about the love that the Ace of Cups brings in with it. This card allows you, it frees you to be yourself, you know. There's no fear in expressing your emotions. There's no fear in accepting them neither. You know, a lot of times we are on regard. It's like, you know, why is that person saying this? What are they really after? You know, it's a lot of ego comes in, especially around love and emotions. With this, this is ego free. You know, this is being given the gift to completely be open to be receptive, to be vulnerable, to be strong, to be you, you know, so all of these, um, all of these traits of yourself, you know, with this are actually, you're in a safe place to, to be like that. This card, this, the love that the Ace of Cups talks about that is coming in for you or is there and like I say, there's, there's newness around it. This is a love that will give you butterflies in your stomach, you know. Um, it will make you feel like you're walking on air. And it signifies a true connection here with another another human being, you know. And this leaves you feeling like a teenager or a character in a love story. This card sort of epitomies what, <clears throat> what Hollywood have made millions on, you know, everybody wants a piece of this, everybody looks at it and they see what Hollywood say love is and, you know, and they think that's real and, you know, to an extent it's not, 
but occasionally it does come along you know that that's how it was invented that's how people know about it you know if we if we look at the quotes by Rumi Rumi is is I, I absolutely love Rumi and if we love it look at his love quote he was a guy that was around like 900 year ago or something and you look at his quotes and it's like oh god you know that that really really resonates with me that's what love is so like I say this is that type of love but what I love about this as well and what is really really what I, I don't know what is my one of my favorite parts about this card as well is that when this love is there, what this enables you to do is this enables you to have a new love affair with yourself as well. So instead of looking at your flaws or looking at, you know, or other people pointing out your flaws, you know, that you, you haven't done that or you haven't done that or, oh, look, I don't like it when you do that. What this does is this allows you to see yourself as the amazing beautiful person that you are you know um and it really makes you when you can see yourself through the eyes of somebody that loves you you know um that is such a beautiful beautiful thing to see um i mentioned the other day that i had photographed a wedding last week and it was it, that was a real a beautiful love story but i was editing the photos yesterday and it was the way they were looking at each other on the photos, you know. Oh, thankfully, I managed to capture that. But I was actually watching it yesterday, and I was I was quite emotional. It was like, oh, yeah, I love a happy end. You know, they all lived happily ever after. And, and that's what I like, you know. But this card talks about that. Um, and it's like, it's really telling you to connect to all different parts of yourself as well, you know. Connect with different people. Allow them to experience your wonderful energy and allow them to experience how amazing a person you are. You know, this is what this card, this card wants you to do. It's wanting to drive you forward. It is seeing this love sees the potential of what you are, but what you still keep hidden in a lot of ways. And what it does is it wants to propel you, pro propel you to be this amazing, fabulous sort of like, beacon of light to, to everyone that you come in contact with as well, you know, um, and once you realise this, once you see how amazing you are, you know, once you are being told this and you know that you're told this truthfully by this other person that you've connected with and you trust them so you know that they wouldn't lie, this will just make you feel like you're 10 foot tall and it will just, it just brings this lovely, like, you know what, actually, I, I really like feeling like this, you know, rather than hiding in my shadow. And, and this is what's coming in with this. Um, so like I say, it's, I really feel there's a mag, people will see it. People will see this. It, it will like, be like your, you're glowing in some way and there's a real lovely confidence coming in with this as as well you know so it's like you will be admitting love out of your pores today you know so sprinkle a little bit on everybody that goes past you as well because everybody needs love in their life and like i say with this at the moment your cup is overflowing you know or you're being offered a cup that is is overflowing you know so this as well I keep going on about love, 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 you know, and, and yeah, we get it, you know, <laughs> I know you, I know you get it, but this card as well is a very, very spiritual card as well, and what it says is that these emotional experiences that are being presented to you, that are literally hanging around, that are there, that are coming to you, you know, um, these have been brought in by your higher self as well and because of spiritual development that you have done on the way as well um like i say it's you know when we look into spiritual stuff when we look to spirit spirit is love you know we are love we just forget that we are once we connect and once we align you know everything it feels right we feel this overwhelming feeling even if that person isn't around you you feel it and it feels right and it's that is because you are going with the flow the second you start to resist that and you second you get out of that that flow stream 
that is when you start to feel discord. That is when the ego creeps in. That is when the ego will be like, you know, oh, this isn't real. This isn't blah, blah, blah. You know, so what you do, stay in alignment. Um, I've said it's been a crazy week this this week. It has in the cards and it, it's been a bit crazy in my my normal life as well. But I mean, that's that's sort of a given, you know, things things happen. My life gets weird. Um but throughout this week, what I've had to be doing, there's times when I've had a wobble, but I've had to be just checking in the center. How do I feel? How do I feel? How do I feel? And keeping myself in alignment with this. And at one time, I probably would have gone crazy and, you know, either been smashing things up or sitting in a bowl in the corner crying. But because I've just aligned, it feels, everything feels like it's happening how it should. So I've surrendered to it. That's it. I've surrendered. I'm trusting the process and I'm trusting that what is for my highest good will will come to me. So like I say, there's a once we trust and surrender, we can we can take a deep breath. You know, the tension goes. And like I say, with this love coming in as well, you know, spirit is love. Spirit has given us the gift of love and we can then give that back to another person. There is a lack of anxiety around this. Like I say, just when when you are when you are aligned, when you are tuned in, and when you when you know really, that's what I want to say. It's like it's this knowing, um, and it doesn't matter if external stuff is isn't sort of aligning and isn't sort of making sense. This card might mean that it means no sense at all, but that means it makes so much sense. You know, um, I know that sounds really strange, but spirit work in funny ways <laughs> and, and, and that, that, that's that's what they're bringing out there so this is a blessing for you this is a gift this is something to take you to the next level of your development you know it's like you're being given your prize here and there is so many great possibilities waiting for you if you decide to go and pick this up yes it's intense and intenseness gets scary but it, it it's not scary really it's only scary when you've lived in this real beige world for a long time you know then when you come in it's like when you meet people who are intense who are deep who don't want to just talk about the weather they want to talk about what makes you cry what makes you tick you know what was um what's your favorite song and why you know when people have depth this sort of allows us to go deeper as well you know and yes to some people this is intense and some people are are very very guarded you know um i had a friend around yesterday and they're really they're just crawling with all this finding out who they are and there's there were so many things that we talked about yesterday that was actually really funny because they've still got this fear of this big wide world you know and they they cannot relax they cannot just just they kind of just relax into it they cannot accept people but the reason that is is because they they haven't accepted themselves yet you know, so they've got a lot to learn. But yes, yeah, so like I say, there's an intenseness with this. Um, um, there was a couple of months ago, one of my teachers, a great man called David Cunningham, who's a who's a healer um, and a very good spiritual guide to me. He's taught me a lot. We were talking one day and he said, what do you think our mission is on earth? And I, I thought I was clever and I went, I think our mission is to find what love is you know our mission is to love and be loved and and that's it you know it's the greatest gift in the world and he said no it's not he said um our mission is to find out what love isn't so then when we recognize true divine love we we are ready to take it and I was like right okay I get that and I really feel that this is why there's a lot of pain a lot of pain comes with emotional growth as well, but it's every little growing pain opens our heart a little bit more. You know, we can't, with a lot of people, it can close it and they are the ones that will suffer and will have to, you know, they, they will have more lessons to learn. But if you allow yourself to keep your heart open, no matter what you've experienced, no matter how much pain, has been around you know this is when you will you will find that link you will realize the blessing that you're being given and you know you will carry on to your life and have this fulfillment which is is on the top of of that card so 
quite a beautiful card, but again, quite a heavy one. I'm actually, I'm, I kind of wait to see the end of this week because <laughs> it's been, it's been quite hard going. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, you know, with the cards this week. But I hope you enjoyed that one. There's, you know, Cupid is in the air. It's, it, it's there. I mean, we have, I'm sure we have Venus coming in today right okay i didn't realize that we have venus i think venus is coming into the planet somewhere today i'm sure i read it um so that will obviously indicate that as well but it's like i say really today you know if it is there don't let it go if if you are questioning what love is see how it makes you feel you know love doesn't make you feel sad it doesn't mean make you feel rejected it doesn't make you feel angry jealous anything like that you know that is not love that is fear that is you know that there's a difference between the two when we work from a love center and when we are working on a love level you know then like i say there is no anxiety there is no fear it's just acceptance you know so try and try and if if you're having issues with that today try and look at it in that way you know fear is comes from our ego love comes from our soul and there's there's a big difference in the two one is very flowing one feels good one you know one makes us smile you know one makes us glow the other one keeps us tight makes us feel discord makes us feel anxiety and makes us feel a little bit less of a person than what we are as well whereas like i say this one it builds you up so I'm going to go now. I'm sorry, I can talk. It's my favourite subject, so I can talk on it for ages. But I hope that made sense. It's a really nice one for after what we've been through this week. But I'm going to do today the cards for the weekend as well. So we'll see what Saturday and Sunday has in store, you know, and, and see where we're going with this. But I hope you enjoyed that. If anybody would like a reading, please get in touch with me. Uh, I do have availability... Um, until Monday you know after Monday I'm not going to be available for a few days so if you would like a reading then please get in touch uh, as soon as possible um, please like this page please subscribe to this page please like me on Facebook I often do live readings on Facebook so if you haven't already liked that page get over there I might actually do one today as well around about two o'clock I normally I normally do them so if you're on Facebook you know I, I could be pulling the card for you personally but Spread the love, you know, share these videos and just spread the love today to everybody that you meet because it's it's there and that's, you know, it's so much better when you're getting it but then when you're giving it away as well, you know, because what we give out is what we get back. Okay, so I'll be back with the cards for the weekend uh, tomorrow. Satnam. <laughs>